extraordinary people seem so extraordinary. How do they do it? How does Taylor Swift perform so many songs night after night? How does Steph Curry make a shot all the way from the tunnel of his stadium? How did Steve Jobs or Jeff Bezos take their ideas and build them into multi-billion dollar businesses? While there are a ton of factors that contribute to a person's success, one thing that most successful people have in common is that they practice habits. For instance, Steve Jobs has a habit of meditating every night to clear his mind. Steph Curry has a habit of taking at least 250 practice shots every day to stay sharp. And Taylor Swift has a habit of running for an hour every day to build her stamina. Now, you might not want to be a pop star or a professional athlete, but healthy habits can help you perform at your best and whatever it is you want to do. In today's lesson, we'll discuss habits and how the habits we form can help us lead a healthier lifestyle. Our goal is to analyze our habits and then use the strategies we learned today to build healthier ones. Let's get into it. How would you define a habit? You might have said something we do every day or on a regular basis, and you'd be right. A habit is an action or routine that we repeat regularly. It's like brushing your teeth every morning. You don't think about it, you just do it. It's a part of your routine. Have you ever noticed how you instinctively reach for your phone first thing in the morning to check messages or social media? That's a habit, but not all habits are created equal. Healthy habits provide a consistent benefit over time. For example, walking 30 minutes a day is a habit that can improve our physical well-being, boost our mood, and help with our overall well-being. Can you think of any more examples of healthy habits? Pause the video and write your thoughts in your guided notes. What did you come up with? Some more examples I thought of are eating a veggie with every meal, and taking time to relax or meditate daily. But what about unhealthy habits? Unhealthy habits are things that are enjoyable for a little while, but aren't good for our health in the long run. For example, scrolling social media before bed is entertaining, but long term, it can make it hard to get good sleep, damage your vision, and even impact your mental health. Some other examples are drinking lots of caffeine to feel less tired, eating sugary snacks to cope with stress, or even checking our phone every time we hear a notification, regardless of what's happening around us. We've all done these things at one point or another, I mean, I know I have at least. They seem okay in the short term, but if we do them consistently, then the consequences can add up. So how do we make sure our habits are pushing us in the direction we want to go instead of the opposite? We do this by actively analyzing and adjusting our habits. To help us with this, we'll be using a three-step process. The first step is to identify your existing habits. Remember, a habit is something you do without thinking about it. Make a list of all of your habits from when you wake up to when you go to bed, from brushing your teeth to eating a specific thing for lunch. Listing our habits gives us a bird's eye view of where they are actually taking us each day rather than just assuming we're on the right track. I'm trying to improve my habits as well, so I made a list beforehand. Here are some of them. I brush my teeth when I wake up and go to bed, make one cup of coffee in the morning, eat a high protein breakfast, have chips for a snack in the afternoon, and check social media constantly. The second step is to rate each habit as either healthy 
unhealthy, or neutral. For example, I'd consider brushing my teeth a healthy habit, while munching on chips in the afternoon falls into the unhealthy category if I eat too many. I'll rate my morning cup of coffee as neutral because it's only one cup. How would you rate the other habits I have here? Pause the video and write your thoughts in your guided notes. Here are my ratings for comparison. There are some healthy habits here, but there are a few unhealthy ones as well. Definitely room for improvement, which brings us to our final step, building healthier habits. Now, there are a few ways to go about this. One is to break an unhealthy habit. Another is to add a healthy habit, which doesn't cancel out your unhealthy habits, but still improves your health. Or even better, you can replace an unhealthy habit with a healthier one. While making this decision, I recommend you use your health vision board as a reference. Are your habits guiding you towards the person you want to be, physically, mentally, and socially? Once you've identified what you'd like to change, set a SMART goal for taking action. Personally, I'm going to work on breaking this habit of constantly checking my notifications. So what might help us stick to our new and improved habits? Well, first of all, habits don't come out of nowhere. They are triggered by cues or signals in our environment. When I hear a phone notification, boom! I check my phone. It's automatic. In the past, I've tried ignoring my phone. Unfortunately, it didn't really work because I kept hearing all those notifications and the temptation was just too strong. So what should I do instead? Habit hack number one. The easiest way to break a habit is to identify and remove the cue. And if you can't remove it, try to minimize it as much as possible. For me, this could be putting my notifications on silent. With this in mind, I've set a new SMART goal. Starting today, I will silence my social media notifications and check them at scheduled times. No notification, no distraction. I can focus on being in the moment instead. But what about adding healthy habits to our routines. I've got another habit hack for you, habit stacking. Habit stacking is tying a new habit to an existing one. For example, let's say I always brush my teeth in the morning and I want to start stretching. Why not stretch right after brushing? My SMART goal could be, I will stretch for five minutes after brushing my teeth every morning. I will start tomorrow. This way, I'll have a reminder while I'm getting used to the new habit. New habits become easier to stick to the more we practice. So aim for small changes over time and most importantly, be consistent. Even if I happen to be running late, stretching for three minutes is better than not stretching at all. And there you have it. Our habits have huge impacts on our health. So it's important to continue to check in on where they're taking us. Now it's your turn. After the video, use the template in your notes to analyze your own habits. Which ones are guiding you in the direction you want and which ones might be steering you off course? In our next lesson, we'll look into common health concerns for teenagers and how and when to seek help. Until then, I'm Caroline and remember, prioritizing your health is a choice you make every day and it's worth it. So keep building that healthy lifestyle, take care, and I'll see you next time. Hey, hey.